and uh, he's been on radio as well. And now he has, I guess, his, his DJ friend, who's his producer now. So it's the it's the Hoppy Hour. This is Ryan Hoppy. But are we calling it the Hoppy Hour still? Isn't it a little sip of Hoppy Hour was the official name of this segment on WLS 890? That is true. This is a little sip of Hoppy. But you are Ryan Hoppy mm-hmm. and, and introduce your co-host there. Well, I'm here with DJ Pez, a.k.a. David Pezza, the best producer in all of the music business. Uh, You're too kind. That means absolutely nothing. But it's good to be here on WLS. (laughs) Mario. Well, you're on WLS AM 890 now with me and Jason. And uh, as far as I know, this is going to be every week. Mario, let me tell you something. I'm from Chicago. I'm from Arlington Heights, Illinois. I went to Patton. Thomas and Hersey graduated in 2012. And when I tell you, I'm not just saying this to blow smoke. The fact that I'm on WLS 890 in Chicago right now is a dream come true. In first grade through eighth grade, when my mom would drive me to class, she would have on WLS at any time of the day. So the fact that I am on WLS 890, Mario, Chicago, I love you guys. Well, we're, we're happy to have you, Ryan. This is, uh, you know, I've been following your podcast for a while. We've been commenting back and forth. Um, I thought you were still in Chicago, but I guess you're, you're, uh, back and forth, right? You're, you're in the summer weather and you're in the winter weather sometimes, right? Yeah. I, uh, come back during the winter to see my mom who lives at the house I grew up in, in Arlington Heights. We grew up right by the racetrack. I have memories of going to the racetrack and then, I live here in uh, the Tampa Bay area and host a two-time award-winning podcast, and I am very ripped from patting myself on the back whenever I introduce myself to anybody by having to let people know that my podcast is award-winning. But look, why not? You got to you gotta push it, right? I mean, you got to say that stuff. I mean, at any th- at any, at, Jason, did you win awards? At this point of day, you can just play, make an yeah. award for anything. Anything. You ever. can have an award for anything. Want some too. I have an award for freshest socks. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't like to, uh, you know, worry about getting a lot of it. I just like to do my craft, you know. But, yeah, it's cool to have you. The main reason I thought it would be cool is because a lot of the stuff you talk about just is hilarious to me. I don't know. Maybe it isn't everybody else in, in WLS land, but I love it. So I want to have you on as much as possible. And, uh, you know, obviously we can maybe uh, coordinate the podcast with the show and everything. So we'll, we'll cross-promote, you know. Mario. Well-known across the world. On the happy hour. It'll be a fun yeah. time. Mario, I spent 21 years as an only child who lost his virginity at age 21. Oh, geez. So I spent two decades. <laughs> okay. I spent, let it's me personal. talk, let me talk. I spent two decades listening to Chicago radio. And when I tell you that this is going to take off and we are going to run Chicago, I know that market better than anything. I read Robert Feeder articles. I am a diehard Chicago fan and I want Chicago to love me and my narcissism and my only child syndrome. <laughs> I guess it reflects in the podcast because I like to, I like this sense of humor. That's for sure. Thank you, sir. Come on, it's got to be entertaining. We're here to entertain on some level. And, I don't know. Dave, what, what does he do? Does he kind of you know, bring you back to earth sometimes and he does all the electronic stuff for you? What, what is his role? Well, David is here because I met him a year ago. I'll keep this very short because I'm very long-winded. Uh, a year ago, I was laying in bed, bored as hell at 10 p.m., and I was like, you know what? I should go to Ybor City, which is a nightclub part of Tampa go to Ybor City that night, and I meet David. We're uh, just uh, chilling in the VIP section, and we immediately hit it off. So for about a year, I would go to all his club gigs, get drunk, and he would drive me home because I don't make much money. So he was my Uber home. So about a month ago, I realized that me and David work out every day, and we're best friends. So I said, why don't we do the podcast together? He's like a big brother to me. I have raging daddy issues. There was nothing wrong with my father growing up. God bless his soul. But David, how bad are my daddy issues? Oh, he's like a little lost puppy. It's fine. He looks at you so endearingly as he just seeks your approval. It's very, it's very, um, I don't know what the word could be, but it's endearing to say the least. So David brings to the show, he brings a sense of humor that I have to watch out for. This guy is self-employed, Mario. 
I work for a corporation yeah. and then do this podcast on the side. I'm going to make a company next week to make sure my show is licensed. But this guy has no filter, and I have to watch out for that. And that's the beauty of him. I mean, I kind of sometimes have a filter. I know I know the boundaries you can't cross, and I like to play, you know, fiddle the line, I like to say. You well, know. on the podcast, it's okay. But on the podcast, yeah, it's, radio, yeah of course. Yeah, we- on AM radio, we want to make sure that we are being proper and appropriate yes. at all times. Well, uh, that's great, and I, I think it'll fit in good with the show. Um, so you guys, uh, you guys have a bunch of stuff you want to talk about. So I'll just let you guys go ahead and get into our new segment on Inspired and Motivated with Mario J. Bell, uh, and it's a little sip of the happy hour. Well, David, I was thinking about it. We're in this pandemic yeah, for the past six months. Oh, God, it just won't end. It seems like it's never going to end. No. And it's very frightening. When you had COVID, because you got COVID back in June. Sure did. Hell yeah, you were. We joined that COVID team. Put, you were graced with the greatness of COVID-19. Just stamp a number on me. Since we only have a few minutes and time is short, but I am not. What was it like having COVID? Uh, I mean, I, I've had worse. I don't know. Nobody. I had four people in my house with it. Nobody had a fever. Not one. I was all disappointed. I was like, man, I'm going to be bedridden. You know what I did? I quarantined by the pool, mm-hmm. sipping margaritas. It was terrible. And you got to hang out with your friend that you hook up with. I don't know if it's a girlfriend or whatever she is, but she got to hang out because she got COVID too. Yeah, we had a big slumber parties and everything. I had my friend visiting from up north. He caught it too. So we're like, guess who's not going home? You're staying. Was, was there fun. any point, David, though, when you get COVID, where you're a little nervous about what might happen? Like, because you're in great shape. Of course. You're they're, like, they're like, oh, human. it's going to be this terrible thing. And and then you're waiting, and then you find out everyone around you has it. And you're like, oh, God, I know I got it now. And then and then you start to get, a, like, a sniffle. And then, and then you're like, oh, God, I hope this doesn't get worse. And then it doesn't. But, you know, I don't know. I guess it's just being fortunate. <laughs> so they say that when you have a kid that – your opinions about being a parent change once the kid is born. Now let's put that into a COVID situation. I don't know why I just compared having a kid to COVID, but what I'm saying, David is before COVID, did your opinion change once you were blessed with it back in June? Or do you think the same? I mean, I feel like when they first like, like paraded it out in the media, it was like terrifying. And then that's the thing though. Like you always, the, the fear is always worse than what actually comes. Yeah. You know, well, I think the other problem is I'm very much in the middle when it comes to everything in the media. I try to be open-minded, but it made me very angry. I think it was like March 10th or 12th. Very anxious and angry. When I, Of course, I have a lot of panic attacks because I have ADHD and I overthink things. It made me no. very angry. When I would watch the news the first few weeks and it was just fear mongering after fear mongering after fear mongering. And you know. That Anderson Cooper and any news anchor ever, that was better than sex for them. You could have given them the best sex ever. They're like, oh, man, we can't wait for the ratings. We're just going to milk this. Don't you Don't you just feel the fear. Well, Bask in it. I remember back in April or May, you put up a post where you were actually nervous watching that hack, that piece of dirt known as Chris Cuomo. Chris Cuomo. You know As that. he's documenting his, his, his journey, he's like, oh, I'm dying, but I'm still doing my show every night. Okay, here's my thing. I do believe he had COVID. Of I'm course. not a guy not that goes it. that COVID's fake. I believe COVID's 100% real. I'm very nervous about it. But you know that when Chris Cuomo got COVID, that was like if an average Joe were to win a million dollars. You know, he was like, woohoo! He was so happy. He goes, ratings, 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 ratings. ratings. Nom, 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 nom. I mean, I watched it too. I was like, Is this, how's this guy doing? Is he alive? Is he dying? Like, he didn't look terrible. And then I love two months later, he's like, well... The symptoms haven't gone away completely, and I've been feeling kind of depressed. That wasn't the official quote he said, but it was something to that fact. Was this and before I, or after he got caught outside of his house naked on his wife's cam? That was ridiculous, too. He acts like he was the authority. He acts like he's better than us. But you know what's worse than him going on TV and spreading fear about COVID? What? You know what's worse than the outfit he wears every night or the fact that he thought he should do a show in his basement? Have you seen those videos of him dancing with his daughter to TikTok? He looks like every father that's overcompensating. Why is every parent doing this now? Like they look, oh yeah, we're going to jump on the bandwagon with my kid. And then it's just like, oh God, this feels so cringe right now. 
I joined TikTok and I did legitimate videos of me doing the podcast or whatever. And I got sad when I was watching Death Wish 2 and it was a shooting scene in the background and I had my cat at the end of the bed looking all cute and I added Doomsday music and that video got 10,000 views and like a thousand likes and then actual content I was creating got five likes. And that's when I realized I'm not going to go on TikTok and do some dance and it was not for me. The fact that my adult adorable cat named Luna got more attention than me hurt my ego David that's, that's what you got to do if you want views or you got to have like dogs or cats or you got to have, have some sort of discernible skill like being able to blow a balloon up with your nose but you know what we've talked about and now we're talking to the third biggest market right now oh my god I can't believe we're on Chicago we are on the Chicago airwaves this is so exciting we are on WLS which has been around for almost a hundred years oh my but god David we're about to spill an idea that we've been talking about to everybody listening in Chicago, the millions of people throughout the whole Midwest. Well, we have a lot of ridiculous ideas, so I'm not sure what you're entailing right now, but please do tell Out of work bartenders.com. Oh my God, yes. That's such a moneymaker idea right there. Because, you know, the porn industry has everything right now, so we figured it would be a great addition if we were hire out of work bartenders. And have them do one scene and do a tryout, and then maybe they get picked up by right. Vivid Entertainment. Oh, man. Think of the money. I'm actually embarrassed that I knew the name of a porn company. That kind of bothers me that I was able to just name Vivid Entertainment. No, because you were such a virgin for so long, you have no choice. You just... I think I can name more people in porn than actual, like, let's say, politicians or things that you were supposed to learn in class. It's very frightening. That is kind of frightening. Now, David. Hey, this is Mario. I'm listening, and I want to know more about your idea. Tell us more about the uh, the website and how that would happen, how that would work out. Oh, okay. So, so out of work bartenders. So we got to take all these out of work bartenders, and you know, we just have pay them to do a scene. <laughs> you know, I figure it, the the investment will be kind of low. You know, a few thousand dollars to just have a scene with. I don't know. We'll find we'll find a nice. We got to keep it AM radio clean. We can't get too dirty here. We're not shock jocks. We don't live in the nineties. But how long would the scene be? How much money? You know, I figure an hour. Like, how much would you work for that? An hour, dude. That's like everything. I mean, like thirty minutes. I don't know. What's an acceptable video length? Adult. Do we get a part of it? I I can help out, but I want to know what my piece of the action is. I guess. I mean, we need investors. Mario. Mario. I don't think you want to double be percent in it. on your return. I know you want money and we all want money, but don't the guys look so miserable in the videos? Oh, you're offended, Chicago radio listener. Everybody watches porn. Relax. Uh every single guy looks like it's so much pressure. Cause think about how many producers are in the background. I could never do it. I'm actually honored whenever I am getting laid. I'm like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Someone wants to have sex with me. So I can't imagine doing it on camera. I don't know about you, Mario. What if we were to dress you up in like a costume, like a furry costume? We should and have do you Super perform. Mario. Have you be Super Mario? Oh my God. <laughs> Super Mario. Have you find your princess and maybe Luigi comes in. <laughs> He's got to he's got to come in and like I'm, beat I'm Bowser. Mario. To talk off the air about that. That's <laughs> I got it. You're saving the princess and Luigi is jealous and Wario who's the forgotten about character that no one cares about, we can have him be the creepy director in the background that talks. Wario is the perfect porn director. And then and then Luigi can come in for the DP. Oh, my God. And then uh, Bowser. Oh, my God. Can we say that? If you have to edit it out, that's fine. Uh, Bowser can be the company so. logo. Boy, you guys, uh, you guys have a lot of time on your hands, don't you? <laughs> oh, literally. Dave, Hoppy's uh, got a lot of... Ho to... Toppy's got a lot of time in his hands. Mario. Mario, I literally. Ah, got a little zinger I could play. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more of the full podcast and also, of course, the little simple Hoppy here on uh, Inspired and Motivated. <laughs> with Mario, J. Bell, and Jason, and uh, all our other people that are participating. And uh, you know what? This was interesting. So <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to hear the, the latest podcast, because I, I didn't hear it yet. Well, we'll be doing that in a little bit. So, for Chicago. Well, it was great having you guys. Go to every podcasting app. I record for the average hardworking Joe trying to make it in life. That's the uh, demographic, 2554 men and women. Go to every podcasting app, search up Hoppy Radio, and add us on social media. Ryan Hoppy, H-O-P-P-E, and David Pezza. Spotify, Apple Music, Hoppy Everything. Hour. Just look up Ryan Hoppy on And that's H-O-P-P -P with an E.
Right. And then, of course, we'll have links on my page, on the motivation page on Facebook and Yay. the site I'm working on. So we'll have that all for you. We'll all cross-promote. But, hey, it was great having you guys on, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Mario, it's a pleasure. We're excited. Thank right. you. Thank you, sir. Take care. Thanks, guys. And we'll be right back after this on AM 890 WLS.